All right, everybody, welcome back. It's time to get into some Fury. Of course, if you've never played the game, it has been recently released on PSN and Steam. I'm not sure if it's on the Xbox or not. Uh, if any of you guys know, go ahead and let me know in the comments below. So let's go ahead and get into it right away. We're going to go normal difficulty. And we start out with a little cutscene, of course, because what game would be complete without a beginning cutscene? You were a weapon, a bringer of death. And now, you're nothing. I will keep on killing you. Apparently I'm being and held and tortured. And again. Also, this is post-commentary. Um, I'm trying to do it this way because of, just because of my situation where I got the baby running around and everybody's here. And I don't really have a, a you know, quiet place to record. I'm not going anywhere. I'm staying right here with you. Now we, of course, get to hear our uh, partner through the game. It's time to go. And there you saw him. See what they did to you. Pull yourself together. He's Take kind of our guide to prison. escaping. And I'm sure he's the one who frees us here. Kill the jailer. Fight for your freedom. And of course we're some sort of samurai dude um, you don't get too much backstory you really don't realize what you are till the very end of the game and I have beat it on the normal difficulty I plan on doing it through the harder difficulty but uh, I probably won't record that in fact I'm probably gonna start doing commentary like this there you can see I went through the menu a little bit um, just because it's easier for me to do it this way and just record voice when I have a chance instead of worrying about having to record gameplay and voice at the same time. So I can edit it together later and everything's all fine. So of course we're gonna run into our jailer here. And of course he's threatening us, because why not? You listen to me, and you listen Oh, we'll see about that. And there you see all the levels throughout the game. I swear I'll put you right back in your cell. There's an easy way. This, of course, is the tutorial boss. So he's going to be a little bit easier than the rest of them. In fact, I think I do pretty good on this run through um, that I've recorded. So we'll we'll see we'll see what everybody else thinks. Episodes are going to be pretty short because uh, a boss equals a level pretty much. And there we go. We're starting to parry him now. Um, it changes between kind of a twin stick shooter to a hack and slash type game. Of course, I just got a perfect parry, which is the when you parry the last second before. Um, normal parries will heal you, but they won't initiate that attack like that. And you see all those blocks underneath his life bar? Those are all health bars. Um, so every time we go into a new stage, he'll start doing new stuff. Um, he doesn't do much here because I took him out so quick. We have three health bars. Um, if we go down during a fight, we get a chance to do that phase over again. Now that being said, uh, they will regain all their health and you'll have to start over from the beginning of whatever phase you're on in the enemies. Um, usually they have between four and six phases, at least on this difficulty. I don't know if they get more on the harder difficulties yet. I haven't got there. This guy's kind of a pushover. He is the tutorial boss, so you can just learn all the new, uh, all the attacks and everything like that. Dodge, see? And I just completely messed up that dodge. There we go. He's already down. And then, of course... All moves are pretty much telegraphed, at least on this difficulty. This is the medium difficulty, so there is an easier one um, if this one is too hard. I don't have too much trouble on this one, actually. Um, there are some bosses where sometimes their last phases have a gimmick, and those are giving me a little bit of trouble. Uh, but otherwise, I've done pretty good. This being, of course, our first boss... 
He's a little bit pushover. And you can block bullets with your gun for the most part. Um, there are some that take a few more shots than the other ones. But for the most part, you can block them, get rid of them. The green ones will have little life pickups in them, just in case you need them. Um, none of those. And right there, I'm doing a charged attack, which will go into that type of parry animation where we'll do the little flat, little cutscene attack. And it's, you know, it's good to just do it. It'll take a little bit more life than your normal attacks. And he's down again. That's four down. Oh, he just hit me. When you charge up like that, um, you can't use your gun when you're close range like this. Instead, you charge up your sword, which when you attack does twice or three times the damage. I'm not sure exactly how much, but it does quite a bit more damage, and it's uh, definitely worthwhile. Especially if you're trying to do it quick. Nope. Oh, shot through all his crap and got his uh, little cutscene there. Now, each enemy does have a little different cutscene. Uh, I'm not sure if I got them all. Some of them are a little difficult to pull off. And I'm just very aggressive towards some of the bosses. I did just get a, an achievement there, so must have done something. A trophy, I guess. Uh, there are achievements on the PlayStation. This is on Steam. Um, I definitely recommend it if you liked this type of game. Where you're up close, parrying. The only problem I have is that the timing can be a bit off sometimes. You think you hit the button at the exact right time and nothing happens. Uh, it can get a little bit frustrating. And there's five of his phases down. Two more to go. I think this guy has the most phases. Um, there's one later that has quite a few, but I'm not sure it's this many. Oh. Yes. And then you get these little, where you have to move the sticks a lot to break out of a combo or do a special thing. Now I'm just getting beat up left and right. There we go. If your armor glows, uh, once you got enough hits or parries, and I'm not sure if that does anything special. Yes. Good old parry and the counter attack there. And he's down again. So I think this one has a gimmicky phase too. I don't remember if he does. I might get, uh, okay. I couldn't remember if I got beat here or not. It looked like it was getting pretty close. Ah. Like I said, when you do that attack, or when you charge up, it does quite a bit more damage than normal slashes. And I believe he does. I think this is his gimmicky phase. Oh yeah, definitely. So I can't really do anything to him at this point. You just gotta survive long enough until you can do something to him. Um, this one's pretty boring. He just shoots out little things. They get a little bit frantic later on. Uh, one of them I hate so much. Uh, <laughs> I'll be sure to point it out. It's not till six or seven bosses down. Uh, maybe even eight. I'm not sure where sh that one is exactly. Now those ones I can't hit, so it makes me move a little bit. Um, you can take a little bit of damage here. They don't do too much. And I just keep getting hit. There we go. Oh, come on. Teleported and walked right into that. There we go. So now his gimmicky stage thing is over. And you just gotta win this last fight and it'll go into another cool cutscene.
Oh, no, I guess it's not over. I'm still surviving, it looks like. You gotta make sure you're in the clear areas for those. And there he goes. Now he's dead. Gimmick over. Oh no! And I just kick him because he's a jerk. And he was a jerk to me. I mean, in my defense, he was a jerk to me more than I was a jerk to him. Ah, the clipping. And now he is dead. Bravo! Excellent. And there is our little buddy. Not your first time, right? Anyway, the good news, we're one step closer. And to there it is, everybody. I will news. see you all on the There's next boss. Until then. For us. But don't worry. I know them. I can help. Believe me, what's waiting at the end of all this? Is so worth the trouble. You and me, we're in the same boat now. Now let's get the hell out of here.